As part of Creme 2's Boomtown Week, we are putting a spotlight on growth in the inland northwest. Our Janelle Finch talked with real estate experts across the region to ask who holds the power in the current housing market. Is it buyers or sellers? It can feel like the housing markets in the inland northwest are constantly changing. So I'm sitting down with four realtors with a combined over 70 years of local real estate experience to ask them the question. Who has more power in today's Eastern Washington and North Idaho housing markets? Is now a better time to buy or to sell? Hot or cold, the housing market will always have buyers and sellers. Everyone today can buy and sell a house in Spokane, even in these conditions. But market factors can swing the power to one side more than the other. Going from buyer's market to a seller's market, seller's market to a buyer's market, you're going to see that every couple of years. You're going to see um, it could go year to year. It could be within the same year. End of 2019, beginning of 2020, realtors say they began to notice a shift to a seller's market. Looking at current inventory for Eastern Washington, realtors say numbers present like sellers still own the market. We still have very, um, very low inventory for the amount of demand that we have in Spokane. That's still technically a seller's market. But the real estate boom in the inland northwest and across the country is slowing down. What we saw over the last 18 to 20 months, that was an anomaly. The state of today's inventory is evening the playing field for buyers. I am seeing buyers saying, guess what, we, we're going to take some of our power back. Now, higher interest rates are making it more difficult to get in the game, an issue realtors on the other side of the state line are also seeing. They feel like they missed out because, oh, I could have had a 3.5% interest rate earlier in the year, and now I'm looking at twice that. Cameron Bellinger has invested in local real estate for the last four years. I think it's an emerging market. A lot of people moved from Seattle to here or from California to here in order to try to afford something. While he says the initial draw to Eastern Washington may have been lower cost before, in the current market, he says price tags look different for buyers. Those mid-range homes are about $350,000. So trying to get your hands on something that's quality, but that's also affordable is hard now. According to the Spokane Association of Realtors, the median home price in Spokane County for October 2022 was just under $400,000. The Coeur d'Alene Association of Realtors reports the median home price in Kootenai County for October 2022 was $550,000. Bellinger says he believes market pressures are forcing some buyers out. This is probably the most heightened point where buyers are not really trying to be in the market just because interest rates are high. A lot of people can't afford them. And with less buyers, realtors say sellers have to bend a bit more. If a seller wants to sell, they have to try to reduce the, the price of the home to make sure that there is attainable for some people. But even though there are market challenges for both buyers and sellers right now, realtors say there's opportunity for both sides to play in the current market and walk away as winners. Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but I can tell you right now, if there's a house down the street that you really like, don't wait, because it probably won't be there next year. Buyers and sellers have to work more together now to make a deal happen. So to answer the question, who has more power in today's Eastern Washington and North Idaho housing markets? Well, it sounds like the current leader goes to high interest rates. In less than a year, in both markets, interest rates have practically doubled, lessening buyers' purchasing power and affecting how much sellers can price their home at. But all the realtors I spoke to say don't let the current market scare you from buying or selling a home right now. Just be willing to meet the other side where they are and leverage the power you have. Janelle Finch, Crime 2 News.